As President, my highest and most solemn duty is the defense of our nation and its citizens. Last night, at my direction, the United States military successfully executed a flawless precision strike that killed the number one terrorist anywhere in the world, Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on American diplomats and military personnel, but we caught him in the act and terminated him. Under my leadership, America's policy is unambiguous to terrorists who harm or intend to harm any American. We will find you. We will eliminate you. We will always protect our diplomats, service members, all Americans, and our allies. <clears throat> For years, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and its ruthless Quds Force under Soleimani's leadership has targeted, injured, and murdered hundreds of American civilians and servicemen. The recent attacks on U.S. targets in Iraq, including rocket strikes that killed an American and injured four American servicemen very badly, as well as a violent assault on our embassy in Baghdad, were carried out at the direction of Soleimani. Soleimani made the death of innocent people his sick passion, contributing to terrorist plots as far away as New Delhi and London. Today, we remember and honor the victims of Soleimani's many atrocities, and we take comfort in knowing that his reign of terror is over. Soleimani has been perpetrating acts of terror to destabilize the Middle East for the last 20 years. What the United States did yesterday should have been done long ago. A lot of lives would have been saved. Just recently, Soleimani led the brutal repression of protesters in Iran, where more than a 1,000 innocent civilians were tortured and killed by their own government. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. I have deep respect for the Iranian people. They are a remarkable people with an incredible heritage and unlimited potential. We do not seek regime change. However, the Iranian regime's aggression in the region, including the use of proxy fighters to destabilize its neighbors, must end, and it must end now. The future belongs to the people of Iran, those who seek peaceful coexistence and cooperation not the terrorist warlords who plunder their nation to finance bloodshed abroad. The United States has the best military by far anywhere in the world. We have the best intelligence in the world. If Americans anywhere are threatened, we have all of those targets already fully identified, and I am ready and prepared to take whatever action is necessary. And that, in particular, refers to Iran. Under my leadership, we have destroyed the ISIS territorial caliphate. And recently, American Special Operations Forces killed the terrorist leader known as al-Baghdadi. The world is a safer place without these monsters. America will always pursue the interests of good people, great people, great souls while seeking peace, harmony, and friendship with all of the nations of the world. Thank you. God bless you. God bless our great military, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, we heard the President, and no, uh, uh, Mr. John, he said, nuke the Kaaba. My friend, we don't want to nuke any Kaaba. Why you want to nuke the Kaaba? Let us uh, be smart when we talk, please. Uh, the news, as you see in front of us, about this man who is very famous, he lead a lot of operation, and he is one of the most important leaders for operation which is done abroad, which means out of Iran, including kidnapping, killing, uh, uh, bombing, uh, hijacking, you name it. Uh, he is a very professional terrorist 
And this guy, he became so powerful to the point. He go in Syria as an example, he do not need a passport. Hey, he owned the country. He go to Lebanon, he do not need a passport. He owned the country. He go to Yemen, he do not need a passport. He don't carry an ID. They don't need a visa. They own the country. So what's happening here that Iran is expanding its terrorism and actually the head of the snakes is Iran. You see, all those who you see today as terrorists, as an example, Osama bin Laden, al-Baghdadi, those, they were sponsored by Iran. They are the children of the Muslim Brotherhood organization. And I'm not sure why nobody want to talk about this. The Muslim Brotherhood is funded by Iran. Hamas, as an example, is funded by Iran. And Hamas is a Muslim Brotherhood. Hamas is the actual, let us say, terrorism organization. Uh, Muslim Brotherhood, they have like a branch which is about, uh, you know, religion and etc. And a branch for terrorism. So it's a terrorist party. And Hezbollah uh, uh, is, a, is the same as uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. It's just uh, uh, two faces of one coin. Now, this guy, what happened, that uh, uh, we have eight years with Obama, and Obama was a potato, as the word, whatever the word mean. You can fry him, you can, he would not complain. So, Obama, not only he was so soft with Iran, he gave them the money and he gave them the freedom. Actually, I believe strongly that Obama is an Iranian agent. You might laugh, I believe in it. You see, Everything Obama he did since he came to the office is to make Iran powerful. He opened the door for them. Remember, when Obama was in office, everybody have sanctions on Iran. Nobody want to buy from Iran. Nobody want to sell to Iran, including Europe. Obama, he opened the door to Iran to be what it is today. Somebody saying World War Three? No, my friend, Iran is too small to make World War Three, but they will make World War Three of terrorism, and this has started long time ago since the time of Muhammad. They are too small to dare to say we want to go in war against USA. Trust me, like yesterday, the uh, the head of uh, the the one who inherited the job, this guy, now he is the one who took over over his job, Soleimani. Uh, this guy, uh, he said, we say to everybody, be patient. The dead body of America will be all over the Middle East and the world. But I say to you that all of this is just talk, and talk is cheap. Iran knew very well that if they dare to do something, Trump, he will burn them and he will make them shish kebab. So all this propaganda, we will do, Allahu Akbar, we will seek revenge, Allahu Akbar, just wait for us. You see, why Why we are waiting? I mean, why you don't do it? They are coward, they are terrorists. This, this is what terrorist is about. Terrorists only, they hit you when they feel that you are weak. You know what I mean? Could Israel handle Iran in their own? For sure they can handle Iran in their own. You know, Israel is more, more, way more powerful than than uh, Iran, the, the only weakness of Israel is a small. It's a small country, which means strategically, uh, 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 it's very easy to hit, because whatever you hit, you you hit, you know. It's not a, a huge country, so the population is high in certain area, the country is so small, and they are surrounded by enemy. This is their weakness. Otherwise, they are no match. You know, the Iranian they are no match to Israel. Yeah. Uh, and you know, think about it. Iran keeps saying we want to go in war against Israel for the last 30, 40 years. But when the last time Iran did shoot a bullet at, 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 at Israel? Never. Not even once. Because Hezbollah supposedly is the Lebanese party. But Iran don't say we are. It's, it's us who is doing that. It's Hezbollah. You know? So they are covered. They don't fight you by their own. They send their puppet. And Hezbollah don't dare to, to attack Israel anymore. Since the last time, 2006, Israel taught Hezbollah to behave. And this is why it's very important to have a very strong uh, leader. You see, when the leader is soft, Hezbollah was shooting at Israel, shooting everybody. 
and Israel do nothing. Why? Because they knew that they are, the, 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 you know, they are fighting over a chair. They are politician. There's no leader in Israel. Actually, until now in Israel, they don't have really a real leader. Netanyahu is a fake leader. He's not really a real. I don't like him at all. Israel need a real leader. They need someone strong, someone firm, someone he say and he do. What they have right now is a bunch of politician. Uh, however, today in the White House, there is a man. His name is Trump. And Trump, he shows some softness in the last few months. Like last time on Iran, imagine how much they, they, those people, they are so proud about themselves. And they think they are big shot. They shut down an American airplane. Trump at that time, he said, if you remember, he said, well, uh, if there was an American inside the airplane, our response will be different. But as long as it's just an airplane, a drone, it's just money. So, so he, let, he let it go. But look like the arena did not learn their lesson. He said it clearly, if there was one American in the airplane, the response will be different. And what happened in the last week, those Iranian militants, they shot, they throw some uh, 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 missiles at, uh, uh, at American base, and one American contractor get killed, and which means he's a civilian, and uh, uh, four soldiers get injured. So Trump, he made it clear, you know, we have to show them that we are not playing here. Because if if they if he don't do something, they will do more, you know. Throwing some some bombs at uh, the, the the base of the American is just a test to see what they would do. So they did that actually many times before, but nobody get get injured, nobody get killed. But this time somebody get killed, and there is four injured soldiers. So Trump he have to do something about it, otherwise they will never stop. When Obama was in the office and Hillary Clinton, the mad women. She was in the office too. The, the terrorists, they burn the American embassy, they slaughter the ambassador and all the security with him, and America until now did nothing about it. Nothing, nothing. Until now, they, they say they found only the one who planned for it. I mean, well, there's only one person. Have you ever, you know, we saw in the video, there's like hundreds of them attacking, and, there's, there, and they are showing their, their faces. What do you mean one? So, uh, when you have a soft president, everybody would take a bite of you. Now, President Trump, he showed that he is not as some people think. He is avoiding war, yes, but if it is necessary, he will go for it. Okay? Uh, he don't care about the rest of the world unless he has fulfilled his own ambitions to be best leader in. My friend, whatever you want to say about Trump, I believe that the shoe of Trump is better than many leaders been here in USA as a president. His shoe alone is better than all of them. Trump, he made Supreme Courts, all of them until now, the one he named them Christians. Trump, he hired only until now, all judges, federal judges are Christians. Trump, he stand for Christians to speak their mind and freedom of Christianity. Because you see the liberals, they, st they start muting Christians, forbidding them from talking. Even the Bible is taken from the, you know, they want to take the cross from the church. They want to take the cross from the Bible, from the hotel. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you cannot speak in the, in the, you cannot go to school and you have a t-shirt. It's called Jesus. I mean, they are fine. They have a war in Christianity. Trump, he stopped them. And he forced them. And he stopped any funding to any university is discriminating Christians. So whatever you want to say about him, he's a wonderful person. And is he a wonderful person and everything? No. Are you? Am I? No. None of us is a wonderful person and everything. You know, his job is to be a president, my friend. I'm not here. I'm, I did not hire him to be St. Paul. We did not vote for him to be the guy who would do the plumbing. We vote for him to make this country better country, me as an American citizen, people have jobs, people have security, and the nation is flourishing. And look what he did. Everything he said is happening. So whatever you want to say about him, he's a good guy. 
he may maybe he's a maybe some people say he's a womanizer but let us be honest all men like women <laughs> hello I mean don't be a hypocrite walking down the street la 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 I mean if you don't if you are a man and don't like women something wrong with you actually obviously so whatever they want to say about this guy actually if you are a person who own what he own you will be spoiled and you will be damaged actually I'm surprised that this guy is holding himself because usually when people they get so rich you know money corrupt you money destroy you because you can do anything when you have that much of money what what we are not talking about money just money we are talking about a lot of money so compared to those if you yourself you won the lotto tomorrow and you became rich like trump which mean even if you won the lotto you will not god knows what you will do tomorrow right no it's not about nafty my friend we are being honest we don't want to be hypocrisy and stupidity here right so they say he like women what's wrong with he liking women nothing wrong with that is he cheating prove it he's married so he like women he get married he have a wife he have a children he have a family so there's a huge difference between a person who is a playboy like a, a Billy Clinton he's married and he's cheating around and a guy you know they say he uh, you know like he, he make comment about women whatever women they make comment about men when they are alone too they make jokes about men too hypocrisy is is uh, is amazing you know anyway uh, the boy is you mr Ciro. the boy is muhammad who did marry a child she is six years old because you, in order to marry a child she is six years old you have to be a boy because when you want to go to bed with a child she is six years old that's mean you have a mentality of a boy little boy but yet you are 54 years old so who is the boy here shame on you and whatever they say about trump he did not marry six years old child he did not rape women like muhammad he did not kidnap women from their houses this guy he is going after a terrorist and this guy Soleimani. He is, they are proud about him about how many people he killed so what's wrong with this guy and you see he just said if anyone will attack the American we are waiting for you and we will eliminate you and actually I will be happy to join you as the army you know when 9-11 happened immediately I went and I did join the USA army maybe many of you do not know that I did join the USA army and this is why the Muslims for some time they get happy because the Christian prince disappeared from the internet because I went to training and etc blah 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 so they said actually and when I came back I found a room chat room in bad talk open it says that celebrating the death of a Christian prince <laughs> they thought I'm dead somebody told them Christian prince died because suddenly this guy he disappeared you know so yes we will defend our country and we will never allow those terrorists to scare us we are not scared i mean my friend this is america you do not know what america is you have no idea who is the american maybe in europe you know this is different european is different in america you don't play with the american don't so those terrorists when they see that you are a kind and soft they take advantage of that and I will tell you if Iran will do something is going to be they will do something against something soft which mean to make themselves look like okay we did not let it go we did revenge so what they will do they will attack something is not American and you will see they will attack maybe Saudi Arabia they will attack maybe Imara you know what I mean they will not attack USA they are potato count my words and see they will attack everybody except USA because now they knew that this guy is not playing he mean what he say 9-11 was inside job 
My friend Andre, don't make me insult you. Okay, let me about let me tell you about inside job. When your father he get married from your mother, was that inside job or outside job? I mean, how in the world people are stupid? Uh, 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 Osama bin Laden he celebrated. The terrorists they celebrated. There's a thousands of videos as uh, 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 what's his name they celebrated. You know, and then they said to you, it's an inside job. I mean, it's madness, it's stupidity, stupidity. There's some people they are believing in the Bigfoot. Just make a lie, spread in the internet, and then people they adopt it, and then the baby will grow. Are you a fruit of inside job too? Or outside job? What's wrong with people? I mean, the terrorists, by thousands, they said we did it. By millions. And then they say it's inside job, but the CIA did it. Yeah, Andre, you are fake. Get lost. Get lost. Don't don't stay here. We have no place for, for donkeys. It's fake. Yeah, and uh, everything is fake. Al-Qaeda is fake. There's 80,000 fighters of Al-Qaeda exist right now in Syria. They are fake. They don't exist. ISIS is fake. I mean, we made the uh, USA made ISIS. I mean, they love, they love those stuff. Conspiracy. Don't get married, my friend. Your wife, she will call you. She will say, hey, my husband, I am in the hospital delivering your son. He will say to her, fake. This is not my son. And you are not actually having a son. This is just gas. Hmm? Actually, Trump, he just hit again. Today, I don't know if you're seeing the news. Just three hours ago, USA hit again. So they are not only hitting once. And yesterday, actually, didn't they? There's a new hit, which nobody is talking about it. So uh, 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 Trump, he, he did not stop. He's showing them that you threat, you don't threat. Let us see what you can do. And you know what? If the Iranian, they will do anything toward America, that will be the most stupid mistake. Because America can demolish Iran. You know, guys, I don't know how many of you serve in the army. When I went first time in USA uh, Army, I mean, our, like, they are doing training, and then, you know, like, they are, they are shooting uh, missiles, and the ground, I was away, like, we are doing different kind of training. I was so far and the ground is shaking. So I said to myself, if the ground is shaking here, what happened where the bomb is failing? Those people, they think if they have a lot of uh, like a clashing cough, if they have like a 200,000 fighters or a million fighters, who care about numbers these days? A beautiful girl in an airplane, she can get, get rid of them all. So they think if they have a big number and they scream Allahu Akbar, you know, and you know, nobody want to talk about like that. The reason for all of this, what is the reason for Iran to be a terrorist terrorist organization? It's Islam. Islam, my friend, the problem is Islam. It's not really the, the Islam is the problem where they are getting the ideology of terrorism from Muhammad. Shia, Sunni, they are the same. Both of them. Right? They are the same. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, well, the truth is hard to find, but it's, you know, I mean, it's hard to find, but it's not impossible, right? You see, I'm from the Middle East. I know everything. I know everything they do. I know how they think. I grow there. I am I am from them. I am not coming from the moon. This is what we th they teach us in school. That those are kuffar. And death to America and death to Israel. And the Jews are the monkeys. And the American are the pigs. What fake? I grow up there. 
actually first time I saw a Jew I was looking at his bum because I want to see if he have a tail because they told us they have a tail Jews people they have a tail this is what they told us and and their ass is red because Allah he made them monkeys so whatever they say to you it doesn't work with me because I I am coming from there this is this is the culture of hate imagine the first thing in the morning in Iran even in school a, ch a child he is six years old he don't know even how to speak they have to shout death to America death to Israel before they go to the classroom classroom you believe it so this is a very evil regime Imagine you have a child he grow in such a society. The teacher teach him that we should kill. The teacher tell him we should cut hands and cut fingers and cut head. The teacher teach him if you see an American, we have to kill them. So why they are waiting all this time with this regime? I have no idea. And you know what? I hope that the Iranian regime will do something stupid. So Iran, so Iran is going to, you know, that this regime because uh, Trump he can demolish it, and because I know they are cowards, I'm telling you they will never dare to do so. They will attack something have nothing to do with USA, as an example, Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? So like, okay, we, we could not beat you, we beat your friend. <laughs> so I'm really proud that uh, Trump yesterday, he did. Actually, yesterday I was live when they told me and I was surprised. And this idiot here, the guy who inherited the job of Soleimani in Arabic here, it says in front of you, let me translate for you, he says, نَقُولُ لِلْجَمِيعَ إِسْبُرُوا قَلِيلًا لِتَرُوا جُسَثَ الْأَمْرِيكَانِ فِي الشَّرْقِ الْأَوْسَطِ we say to everybody, wait, be patient. Soon you will see the dead bodies of the American all over the Middle East. And you know what, you coward? I challenge you to hurt a finger of an American. And I accuse you to be a potato. It's the same speech you make against Israel. When the last time the Iranian regime hit Israel? Never. They don't dare. They don't dare. So, uh, uh, you know, Trump, I don't agree with him on many things, but Trump, until now, he is my favorite president. I don't agree with him how soft he is with Turkey, as an example. You know, I hope soon he will change his action. But uh, Trump is, is the man, and he's been wise. Look, if he is looking just for an excuse for war, last time when they hit the American airplane, he got a chance to hit back. He did not. He was patient. He was wise. And people, they thought he is weak because he did not do anything. And now look at Europe. Europe is just watching as nothing happening. But... It is possible that Iran is going to hit Europe. As I told you, they will not hit USA. Today, there is a guy in France. He was shouting Allahu Akbar and stabbing people. He killed the women and he injured four other people. I don't know if you saw it. And then they published in the news a crazy guy who is carrying Quran. Carrying Quran. I mean, how come he's a crazy? I mean, why? Why he's a crazy? They want to give an excuse that he is not a, he is not because he's a terrorist. He's a crazy man. He is suffering from mental illness. Well, oh, yeah, ex oh, excuse me. Ob obviously, he has a mental illness because to believe in the book, it says that God will give you an endless penis. You have to have mental illness. To believe in a book, it says if you kill in some, some Christian and Jews, uh, Allah will give you an endless uh, private part and a lot of sex. You have to be suffering from mental illness. So Iran will never dare to attack USA because if they do so, that will be the end of the Iranian regime. 
so they might do something very limited and I say they might attack a friend of USA not USA all right and you know if USA start attacking Iran the revolution and I'm talking about the good people there in Iran if you remember just a few months ago there were a revolution and they killed a thousand or two thousand of them nobody knows how many and they arrested tens of thousands but if 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 the people they notice that their regime is collapsing then the revolution which means Iran will collapse from inside more than outside you see what Trump he did is very smart this guy he put sanctions in Iran and he squeezed it too much to the point this government cannot even breathe they can't even breathe they can't sell anything they can't buy anything so they hated Trump very much because he is the one who made their pocket empty they cannot buy their weapon to kill the Jews or to fund Hamas they are out of money so if they do something wrong and I believe they will never dare to do attack America ever but if they do eh, I think this will be good because then Trump he will teach them how to behave for good All right and you know I'm willing to go to the army again you know if I if they need me I'm still uh, physically very fit and uh, I can do my job the first thing I would do if I join the army I will go in the brigade I will stand in the front and I will say hey, brother editor Today we are going to war with Iran, and Iran is a country. And the president said that, if you go and join the army, army, we are going to get forbidden. And those forbidden are very beautiful. As an example, those women, they are going to have a flat light, LED. Allah will explain to you later when we go to heaven. They will be high-tech women. They have LED, and they have Alexa. Alexa, turn the light for me. Yes, sir. As I said to you, so Allah will install Alexa with those women and even he will give you Google Play so what about you though in the army now brother <laughs> and then everybody will join the army immediately as as soon as possible I mean this is a religion I don't know what they call it but we have to understand that all those problems in the world because of one thing it is Islam Shia Sunni, it doesn't matter. By the way, I don't know if any one of you have a connection with the CIA or FBI. There's a guy yesterday, he lived in New York, he called the Al Mayadeen TV, Al Mayadeen channel. Uh, yesterday, what time, what time, guys, I, I finished uh, broadcast? Uh, about an hour after this guy, he spoke from Chicago on TV and he was encouraging, or let us say, he was praising this he called him murder Soleimani so if you are a person who is connected with the FBI report I mean look at this they live in our country and they carry citizenship and then they ask and they you know they, they, they support the terrorists they support our enemies so this guy Actually, yesterday I could not, uh, uh, you know, I will report him, but let me, uh, maybe if you guys, you can help me. This is the channel. This is the channel. I will post the link if anyone can report. And the guy, he spoke in Arabic for sure. This is an Arabic TV station, support Iran from, from Lebanon. And the guy he was speaking from them, he is from Chicago. So if you go almost 24 hours ago to the broadcast, they will find him. report the terrorist he live in our country he carry our citizenship and then he support our enemy All right go report to anyone he's from chicago tell them yesterday uh we finish around maybe 10 o'clock uh, i don't know what like uh, it was maybe an uh, uh, 
I think I saw him like an hour after now. So it's almost like 24 hours ago. They will find him, just tell him in the guy he is calling from Chicago, speaking Arabic, supporting the terrorist, Soleimani, and he is praising Iran, and he is saying clearly that, uh, you know, you know his support to Iran, and he is calling uh, Iran uh, as a, as a, as a great uh, country and the regime is a great country etc yeah so like he's from Chicago Chicago I think he's a doctor or something uh, I believe he's a Shia whoever he is you know uh, uh, and they spoke with him maybe for like almost uh, an hour Do you know you know the Al Jazeera TV Mubashar? It's called Life Mubashar, which was in Arabic. So when uh, Osama bin Laden got killed, uh, Al Jazeera TV they open line for people to call, and people start calling. And Al Jazeera says, "Yes, he is a murder. Osama bin Laden is a murder." I mean, imagine, guys, Qatar. They have an American base. This country, Qatar, the government there is that is the devil itself. In one hand, they shake with the American and they welcome them and they give them a base in their land. In the other hand, they support Al-Qaeda. So guess what happened? Me, myself, I reported, I recorded a video of them praising Osama bin Laden, taking phone calls from terrorists around the world, speaking about taking revenge from the American. In less than 48 hours, Al Jazeera Mubashar was closed in USA. Forbidden. bingo so maybe we can actually ban this channel al mayadeen so maybe why not i mean they can ban it you know google google is an american company and this channel is promoting terrorism right this channel is promoting terrorism so why we don't take it down this is a very well-known supporter of Hezbollah. If I am the president, I will shut it down immediately. And not only that, I will invite those who work in it to come to Disneyland. <clears throat> All right. Uh, anyone have a question for me? Yeah, I mean, since the attack happened, those people they know nothing except you know supporting Hezbollah. They hate the Jews. They hate etc. They hate uh, uh, they hate America. It's a hate station, twenty four hours, seven days a week. Yeah, and I wish they can. I wish they have a phone line to call them. We will have fun, right? I don't think you know. I don't think a war will happen because I believe that those people they are, uh, you know, they are coward. They were never there. They knew their size. They knew their size but you know what happened that those people because they expand their 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 territory Iran since they took off this uh, 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 the regime used the money which is coming from the gas which is a lot of money oil and gas so they expanded their territory let us show you here what happened in the map okay this is as you see here the Iranian, they never waste time to expand Shia. And the reason they want Shia to expand because they are Shia. But Shia is not just an ideology. Shia is fighters, jihad, killing Jews, killing Christians, etc. So Iran start funding Shia fighters in Iraq, in Syria. This is Lebanon. And this is Syria. And then they start funding Yemen. And not only that, 
they start funding even they have camps for training for fight in Chad in Central uh, uh, Africa Republic in I mean all uh, all over the uh, all over Africa there the Muslims there they are trying to make them became Shia move from the Sunni and they you know and this is how they fight America now so if the Iran now will take revenge as if we can call it revenge they will not dare to attack to attack America they will ask those puppies in Yemen al Houthi puppies in Syria Hezbollah in Lebanon and in Africa to do something against USA but they will never dare to say it is us Iran you know what I mean but a Trump if he is really smart and I think he is it doesn't matter who hit he should hit Iran you know what I mean it doesn't matter who he is hitting he should hit back to Iran because all of us we knew that Iran is behind it do you understand me hit the head of the snake you know like if you remember like many people they say to me why you don't talk about uh, Omar and Khattab etc so when you talk about Omar talk about Muhammad the head of the snake don't waste, don't don't twist your bullet on the tail right and now actually because of the sanctions of uh, Trump on Iran Iran is out of money but already they build a lot of puppies so now half of Yemen is controlled by the Shia al Houthi this territory is controlled by the Shia most of Syria is controlled now by Shia Lebanon now have a Christian president, but he is a puppy. He is a puppy of Hezbollah. His name is On. So you can say they are controlling Lebanon too. Iraq have a huge population of Shia. The majority are Shia. So Iran establish a huge militant group. It's called Al Hashd al Shabi, and it is bigger than the Iraqi army even more powerful so Iran now is 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 thinking that okay how they how the American they will fight us because we are where we are everywhere no because it doesn't matter where is going to be the head from I believe Trump is smarter than you and he will hit you back in the heart why is Iran American enemy this is a good question you see why Muhammad he says kill the Christians and kill the Jews why he said that I mean especially the Christian they did nothing to him the Jews made fun of him yeah expose him yeah get him busted mm -hmm. why Muhammad he says that you see if you are a filthy person always you need an enemy okay I don't know how many of you own guns how many of you own guns I own it's my hobby I don't you know I'm I don't have guns because I am afraid of anyone but since I was very young actually I have you know the first uh, the first uh, gift it's given to me when I was an infant it was a gun you believe it so uh, it's like tradition thing did I say so if you have a gun and you want to do training which one is more exciting to go hunting or to shoot at a rock hunting will make you like uh, excited and there is a skills there is a challenge etc so those those filthy regimes they cannot survive unless they create an excitement will divert the population from thinking about their problems so Iran now is suffering there's no food there's no jobs there is no health insurance there's no, I mean everything is horrible but by creating an enemy so they will say okay do you see we are fighting America 
Why we don't have electricity? Because America. Why we don't have uh, bread? Because of the Jews. So we have to blame somebody. And this is how we can preserve ourselves from a revolution. Because if they ask me why we don't have, we blame the Jews. We blame the American. Are you getting the point? My friend, uh, owning a new nuclear bomb will not make Iran uh, powerful. Actually, it will make it weaker. Because, you see, I will explain it to you in a, a very an easier way. A policeman, he cannot shoot me unless I have a gun with me. Is that correct? Okay. So, Europe and America, they will not shoot you unless you break the law and you carry a gun not only break the law so if you have a nuke i mean your nuke is not nothing even like a cigarette for them so your nuke will not be scary for them it's going to be scary for you because then not only they will destroy you they will demolish you because they have the right to use nuke against you so nukes are not really a powerful war weapon anymore because it is very weak well, actually this is this is just a toy it's not it's not really useful any any because you want to use it against who you have one nuke you have two nukes three nukes how many you have and how far are you can go the nation we are talking about israel have more than 100 nuke more than 30 years ago a hundred nuke 30 years ago now they have hydrogen bombs they have I mean they have a very high tech the the nuke is nothing the nuke is, is, a, is a joke right and nothing will happen to uh, Cyprus the thing the, the good thing happened now that because of Erdogan stupidity uh, uh, Trump he allowed Cyprus to buy weapon I don't know if you heard the news because before USA because of Obama and the one before Obama they put sanctions on Cyprus imagine how filthy the regimes in USA was before against Cyprus this poor country nobody want to support them half of the country occupied by the Turkish and not only that they put sanctions on them not to buy weapon but they give weapon to Turkey you believe it Trump just a week ago he left the ban from Cyprus to buy weapon and not only that just yesterday less than 24 hours ago israel signed an agreement with cyprus and greece to carry gas from israel because now israel have a lot of gas i don't know if you know all the way from gas from from israel through cyprus and then from cyprus to greece and that is a disaster to uh, Erdogan why because Erdogan he can play with Cyprus he can play with Greece but he will never dare to play with Israel so if now Erdogan will say oh I will not allow you to do this Israel is there let us see how, how what he can do you know what I mean let us see what he can do he can do nothing all of those Majid I'm talking about not about the size of a body, but measured as politician. They are heroes when you are weak. Like Erdogan want to fight, you know, etc. In the front of Russia is a potato. In the front of America is a potato. I mean, look at the letter Trump he said to to uh, to Erdogan. Did you read it? Imagine he said to him, "Don't don't be a fool." <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> don't be a fool. A president saying to a president, don't be a fool. What would happen if USA would draw from the Middle East? Actually, this would be a good thing. If USA would draw from the Middle East, I think this would be a good move. And I will tell you why. You see, right now we are involving in things we should not be involved in. Those are evil. Those evil terrorists. They cannot live in peace because of Islam. 
So if we withdraw from Middle East, right immediately, Iran will attack Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia will attack Iran, and the Emirates will join the war, and Qatar will join the war, and Bahrain will join the war, and Iraq will join the war, and Kuwait will join the war, and Oman will join the war, and Yemen will join the war. And uh, so the end is that all of them, they are busy killing each other. Let the terrorist finish each other. What's your business? The only reason actually the war is not happening there is because of USA. USA is the policeman in this area. This is the truth. Take USA away, they will eat each other. Actually, through centuries, this is what they do. You see, this is the, the Middle I am I am born, I am a person who lives in the Middle East uh, most of my life, and I know what where I'm coming from. This is how they live. They cannot live in peace. It is not fun. Is it possible Israel will invade Syria? And possible that... Uh, well, you know, invasion, it's not really... I don't think Israel would do invasion. Because, see, Israel have a problem. Israel have a short population. They are not the big army. They are powerful army, yes. But they are not big army. Because when you do invasion, you have to control the land, and to control in the land, uh, in, a, uh, in a country have a big population. How you can do that? It's not easy. You know, they can they can do invasion like for a territory like the south of Lebanon, as an example, to kick away Hezbollah, but they will not do invasion and occupy the whole country. <clears throat> Okay, life is good. Thank you. They will invade Israel? Trust me, that will never happen. Not even in the dream. No, they don't dare. You see, there is something unique about those uh, Arab, and I am an Arab. Uh, they, they are so brave when they attack each other. Honest to God, guys. At that time, when this happened, I was in Beirut. Me, myself, I was in Beirut. The Israeli commandos came in the highway with dogs. With what? With dogs. Honest to my God, they have dogs with them. And they captured a bunch of terrorists. They stopped a bunch of Mercedes Benz. They captured the terrorist, and it was a sheikh from Hezbollah. They took him in the airplanes. They took everybody with him. And then they are gone. During the time the Israeli army was in the ground, all the militant groups in the street disappear. Suddenly the street is empty. There is a there is a checkpoint every five hundred meter. All the terrorists are gone. They are gone. Like what happened? Then after the Israeli, they left. After they left, about fifteen minutes after. Suddenly, all the terrorists in the street and they are shooting at the sky. But there's nobody, they're gone. So, the, those are the hero. When the Jews are in the ground, everybody hide. When the Jews leave, everybody is a hero. They get terrified. So they are here of fighting each other, but they are not here to fight Israel. Otherwise, you know, Israel will be will be uh, will be gone from long time. You know, when the last time in the 1973, the Mohammedan they launched a war against Israel. How many they joined the war? Almost everybody, even from Morocco. An army from Morocco came, an army from Algeria came, an army from Iraq came, Syria, Egypt. Egypt alone is the population of Israel maybe uh, 30 times. All of those together, they could not do anything. And not only that, they lost. Israel took took all of Sina. They took the, uh, the, the mountains of Syria and almost they arrived to Damascus. 
I mean, imagine all those armies, they are coming to occupy Israel, and then the happen is the opposite. No, my friend, you see, Trump is a very smart person. The, the issue is that we have a stupid party is called Democrat. Trump is trying to be to fix the issues with, with Russia. And actually, this is the best for our benefit. You see, just to show you how stupid the Democrat. They are preventing Trump from being a friend with Russia. If now we are a friend with Russia, Iran have nobody. Who is going to support Iran? Nobody. Exactly nobody. So Iran now is desperately have only one person. Maybe he will support them. If if Russia was considered a friend for us, Russia would never support them. See? So we have a stupid mentality in the left-minded people in USA, the Democrat, and they want us to be USA versus Soviet Union. And then now they think Russia is Soviet Union. In Russia, every day, there's a new billionaire, more than USA. The only way to get Israel down is from inside Israel. So Israel is facing a big risk, actually, because there's a huge population of Muhammad inside Israel. And the Jews didn't have too many kids. So in 60... 80 years from now, maybe there will be more Muslims than the Jews. If the Jews don't fix their... Because most of the Jews now became seculars. They don't get married, they don't have kids. Yeah. So this is why Israel is trying their best to give citizenship for any Jew who want to come from around the world, especially those who they are Orthodox. Because Orthodox Jews they believe they don't believe in you know like in uh, uh, you know what they call it family like to stop babies you know yeah <clears throat> exactly Russian are doing great uh, an apartment of Mo in Moscow now is more expensive than apartment in Manhattan uh, in New York Russia has killed more Christian than Muslims. How is that? Stood Mofin. How this is happening? When? When the last time this happened? The Russian they killed more Christians, and I want to learn from you. We have a smart, educated person saying that Russian killed more Christian than Muslims. When? The fact this is a big fat lie. You know, you remember, you know there's a there's a country it's called Chechnya. Why, why the Shishinian, they became refugee in the Middle East? Anyone knows? There's a lot of refugee Shishinian now, in Syria, Jordan, Egypt, Turkey. When the Turkish start slaughtering Christians in Syria, in Lebanon, in Iraq, Russia, they launched an attack on Shishinia. And they told at the time, at that time, the one who was Erdogan at that time, Stop there, we stop here. So if not the Russian, Christian will be slaughtered. Actually, the one who saved the Christians in Syria right now is the Russian. I know you don't compare between churches. Orthodox churches is better than the rest. No, my friend, there's nothing that's called a church better than a church. There's, there is a Christians and there's no Christians. So... I, I judge a church by who is inside the church, not the name. You know what I mean? So if the priest of the church is a hypocrite, the church does not exist. If the church have good people, the churches exist. It's not a name. It's not something called Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. Jesus said, my friend, from their fruits, you shall know them. So don't be a fool and go and say it's orthodox. This is always not exist. You know, I never ask anyone who is orthodox or Catholic because this is stupid. Oh, what I care for, do you believe in Jesus? Is he your savior? Do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? 
and then from their fruit you will know them the rest is stupid the second you became a person who follow a name a title it means you became a fool because we are not supposed to follow a title of a church we're supposed to follow Christ and no one else all right don't be a fool never I will never follow a priest why you want to follow a priest why you want to follow me who am I no I'm no one I'm no one. I commit sin. People change. People lie. People, 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 people. You know, you know, you don't know what people do. If you don't know what people do, look at the mirror. So we trust only one name. Anyone else is not exist for us. A priest, he speak good, he do good. We listen to him. A priest, he divide us. He is working for the devil. You see, Jesus, he said, go and teach. The whole world. Not a certain group. The whole world belonged to him. Not to a priest. To the Messiah. Right now, yeah. Because after the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union, they, they, you know, they, they changed the demographic. Yeah. Uh, 66 Christian, Christian, you know. I mean, you see, people they you see they mix between Russia and Soviet Union. I mean, people are I don't know what's wrong with people when you say Russia killed the Christians, it's mean you are stupid because that is a Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union was not Russia, my friend. Soviet Union, it's communist. What Russia have to do with that? Russia is the Russian, not the Soviet Union. And the Russian, they were killing Russian at that time, not the Christians only. You are being hypocrite, which means if you are a person don't agree with them, if you are a Jew, you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, they will slaughter you. If you are an atheist, it doesn't matter. If you don't agree with them, they put you in jail and they slaughter you. Stupid, he's amazing. What would this have to do with the Russian? Uh, uh, harm, harm, boss. One more question you ask like this. I will, I will, I will ban you, my friend. Yeah. So what's wrong with praising with the mother of Jesus? What's wrong with you? Don't you praise her? She's a wonderful woman. What's wrong with that? I mean, why are you asking me those questions? Are you a kid? She's Mary, Mary, the chosen women of God. God, he chose Mary. Do you know what does that mean? God, he chose a woman, her name is Mary, to be born from her. Do you know what kind of honor that honor is? Me, I will be honored to touch, not honor only, this is a wish actually, if I can touch the, 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 the finger of, 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 uh, of the shoes of the Messiah. It's a big honor. And we are talking about a woman the Messiah is born of her. So what's wrong with you? Every Christian should honor Mary. How dare you not to honor Mary? How dare you? Sometimes I feel like people are like kids. And then they will say to you, do you know that uh, the Catholic, they say the rosary? My friend, the rosary is in the Bible. What the, what the angels came to Mary and says to her, guys, peace, shalom to you, Mary. Blessed you are between the women. This is the rosary. <laughs> it's in the Bible. <laughs> Madness. <sighs> the Russian Empire became Soviet Union. No, my friend. Soviet Union is a communist. It's not the Russian. They killed the Caesar. Get out of here, my friend. Don't I mean where, where, where I get those people you know from? They killed the Caesar. They killed the Christian king. This is the Soviet Union. The first victim of them is killing the Christian king and slaughter his family. Those are the Russian, the Christian king. Shame on you. 
So now you claim that the Russian killed the Christians. No, the Russian they did not. The communists did, and the communists have no religion and they have no ethnic. Socialism is international. This is why Soviet Union started practicing, or let us say, spreading their ideology in Cuba. In the, what is is Cuba is a Russian country too? Is Nicaragua is a Russian country too? Venezuela? What's wrong with people? This is communist. Communists, they don't have citizenship. They are socialist. Crazy people. Those are the Russian. Russian are wonderful people. I met many Russian. They are wonderful people and they are believers. I saw a church. A Christian church, a Russian church, they don't even walk inside the church. They go in their knee. Imagine they crawl down just to show respect to the Messiah of the church. They don't walk in their feet. Not only they take their shoes, they don't walk standing to go inside the church. What do you know about Russia? Russia is an amazing country. There's amazing writers if you if, if 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 you can get the books of the christian russian christians you will be amazed and actually i believe the best ever who wrote about christianity are russian but people are ignorant what do you think about assyrian i mean what do, what i would think about assyrian my friend i don't know what to think assyrian are people but assyrian where in usa or assyrian in in, in the middle east Assyrian the Middle East are poor people, discriminated, humiliated, etc. In the USA, Assyrian are party people, most of them. They don't care really too much for religion or belief. <clears throat> Sadly. Uh, So, you know, people are people. There is, when we say Assyrian, but I noticed that Assyrian, they are too much in love with parties and they like, they like to show off. I'm not putting you down. I know you're Assyrian. Don't take me wrong. You ask me. I'm, I'm telling you. I noticed that they like to spend too much money to show off. Like if somebody have a wedding, even if he have bankruptcy, he have to spend a lot of money to make himself look like a king. Is that correct? Or I'm not being accurate. <laughs> yeah. You know, but but this is not only the case for Assyrian or Middle Eastern are like this. They love to show off. I used to go like a, a place without saying where because I have an old car nobody shake hands with me you know nobody say hello I have like a you know a Volkswagen you know GTI old one very old all of them they are driving Mercedes Benz nice fancy cars and then this guy is coming with this old car nobody say hello to me Honestly, nobody. And if you say hello to somebody, next time he will not remember you. What's your name? They will say to you, what's your name? No, it's because of my old car. Because after some time, I came with a rich man. Very, very worthy man. And then, you know, I don't want to tell like what, I mean, just forget then they change everything how they deal with me. The second they heard what this man said. Middle Eastern. We have we have an infection. We you know we we uh, we took a lot of the Islamic culture, a lot of bad stuff. Is showing richness is bad? Yeah, my friend, showing richness because richness should not be about you showing. It's about you doing. So if I am rich, no problem. You can enjoy your money as long as it's legal and you did not do anything wrong. 
But if you are showing off, that's mean you are trying to insult or humiliate somebody else. But when we say show off, what does that mean? I am better than you, right? So the second you do that, you lost your Christian belief. Jesus, how rich he is. He is the Lord. He washed the feet of his followers. So what happened to the richness of Jesus? Why he did not show it off? Are you listening? So if you cannot follow Jesus, then don't claim to be Christian. When we say that the Messiah is the one who created the whole universe, how rich he is then? Imagine today you are a person who have ability. One thing of the what Messiah can do, make the blind see. Just one thing. So let us say you are a person, people come to you, you touch their eyes, they can see. How much money you can make from this? You will be the most rich person overnight. All the million, all the millions and millions of blind people in the world, they will come to you and they will pay anything to see. Anything they own. Where is the richness of Jesus was? He was humble. He never, I mean, he don't he don't even have a horse. He ride a donkey. He don't own a donkey. <laughs> he never asked for wages. So yes, showing off is wrong. And I hate, I hate to be with people who they show, or show off because obviously they are full. You see, when you show off, that's mean inside you, you are stupid and you are empty. Like you see a woman, she is buying a purse, cost her husband maybe a, a month uh, uh, or two months salary. I mean, how, how foolish she is and how selfish, right? Now, what if your husband is rich? Still, he is, she is foolish and she is selfish because it's a stupid purse. It's not going to make you look better. It's not going to make you really some, someone. It's just a piece of leather. So if people, they respect you because of the piece of leather, well, that means you are a donkey who carry leather in the top of him because they are respecting you for the sake of the leather you carry. Right? Uh, no, Black Angel, I'm not back home yet. I'm not going to go home uh, unless they kick me out. <laughs> when they kick me out, I will go back. Nothing against the Catholic, but just a question. What do you think about Catholic praying to saint? My friend, they are not praying to the saint. They are asking the saint to pray for them. There's tons of verses in the Bible saying that. Don't you, you say in the church, pray for me? So, I pray you pray for me. Is that clear? I pray that you pray for me. So I ask you to pray for me. They are not praying to the saint, which means they are not worshipping the saint. So if they are worshipping the saint, then that's false. But they are not. Don't listen to the fool. And I am not a Catholic, and I will never be one, and I don't want to be Orthodox, and I don't want to be Protestant. I want to be a follower of a Christ. But don't be a fool and follow what people they say. My friend, the Bible is your guidance. It's not a priest. He is a Protestant or a Pope or Orthodox. Don't let them fool you. Gog and Magog in the Bible, well, even they don't even know what Gog and Magog. No, Russia is a wonderful country. Actually, I wish I can go to Russia. Very beautiful country. And very nice people. For sure, there's bad people and good people everywhere. Are you a Copt? No, I'm not. Copt, and to be a Copt, you have to be an Egyptian. I'm not an Egyptian. But I can speak Egyptian. Mimi Hijab, he think I'm an Egyptian. 
He, he says Egyptian boy. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, the Bible says that, you know, there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew, there's no free, there's no slave, right? All of us, we are one by Jesus. Name, I mean. Anyone bring division, he is he is working for the devil. I can I can disagree with somebody he believe in a belief he's a Christian, but let us say I don't agree maybe about pictures, but that will not make him a Christian for me. That's false. What do you think about India? I believe India is a great uh, nation. Uh, they have a smart people, but they have a lot of problems. A lot of problems. They need to work harder to to let us say to change things in the country. But India for sure have a great future if uh, if uh, if the people there they knew. Like you know, Indian they are very there's they have a lot of skilled people computers you know etc so al american yuridun al jahannam fil iraq my friend mr don iraq is already is jahannam and you are stupid you know what is more jahannam that if people go in the street we shoot them and we kill them and the government cannot protect them what is more than hell that if you go in the street against the government, an Iranian soldier, he shoot you. Or somebody following a sheikh from Iran, he shoot you. This is hell. It's not the American. The American are protecting you. If not the American, you will be a slave of ISIS a long time ago. Coward. You see, this is what happened in the Middle East. It's like you feed the dog and then the dog bite you. When ISIS almost arrived to Baghdad, please, Trump, please, Trump, send troops, Trump, Trump, yeah, yeah, yeah. they kissed the shoes of Trump. And Trump immediately, he sent his army and his weapon, and they start launching attack on ISIS. If not the USA, all of you and those Shia there, they will be slaves of the, the Muslim Sunni. It was a Trump who saved your ass. And now Trump is bad? Shame on you. But this is very traditional of the Shia, Muslim, Sunni, and Shia. You help them, second day they deny that you help them. They use you. Osama bin Laden, he asked America to help him against the Soviet Union. They helped them. As soon they finish with Soviet Union, they attack USA. History repeats itself. Yeah, Trump, yeah, Trump. Yes, Trump, brother, Trump. Are you are you stupid? Just go two years ago, two years ago only, ISIS almost in Baghdad. Who is the one who stopped them? You? Where were you? And and why the Americans are there? And why the why the, the government of, of Iraq they beg the American to come back? Because Obama already he withdrew a lot of American and actually they decide to withdraw all of American from Iraq. They already decide that. Then the Iraqi, the big USA to send their troops. But those Muslims, they have short memory. They eat hummus. They snore. They wake up. They forget their name. <laughs> Both of you in Syria and Iraq. The Syrian, they are saved by the Russian. And the Iraqi, they are saved by the American. And then they claim that Hezbollah is the one who stopped ISIS. It's a big fat lie where Hezbollah was when they took Al Mosul and they took half of Iraq, actually more than half of Iraq. All right. <clears throat> Would you like to be baptized? There's no need for me to baptize again, my friend. My friend. I am baptized already. Why won't I baptize again? But if maybe I like to go in the river, I will go. Why not?
But I'm already baptized. Why am I going to baptize again? But I don't think I'm going to Israel. I will, they, I will be arrested in the airport. And then the Israeli, they will, uh, they will check on me. Christian Prince. So, Habibi, Christian Prince. Your name is a Christian Prince. But we open your computer, uh, Habibi, and it says Arabian Prophet. So how you are saying you are a Christian Prince and you are Christian, but yet it says Arabian Prophet? This is the Mossad, the chicken Christian Prince now. Now, Christian Prince, he will defend himself in the Israeli airport. He will say to them, Brother tell me, I am not a Muslim, and I am not a Polish terrorist, and the proof you can watch my video on YouTube. You know what I mean? I wish I can go to, to Israel, but they will not let me go because I'm an Arab. So what if I have an American passport? Mostly they will send me they, they will send me back shipping, free shipping and handling. I will find somebody in the in the airport. His name is Jack Shalom. And he will say, Habibi Christian Prince, what are you doing here? What are you are you planning to support Hamas, Habibi? Are you have a connection with Hamas? No, I don't have any connection with Hamas. So what are you doing here? Uh, just uh, to visit uh, Israel. So what do you want to visit Israel for? Huh? I feel something fussy about you. Uh, but I, I'm just coming to like, you know, to visit uh, that. Uh, visit, visit what? Do you want to visit uh, Hamas Rida? Huh? You want to visit Hamas Rida? Huh? I'm Ghania? Uh, uh, no, I, I, I don't, you know. Go to Jordan? I will never go to Jordan. Over my dead body. This is the most corrupt, bad country ever. And the king of Jordan is the most funny, beautiful toy to be a king. I mean, this guy, he thinks really is a king. Jordan, you're right. Kili, Kili, you went to Israel. I am not an Arab. I am an Arab. Hello? Do you know what Arab mean? Okay, I will tell you what Arab mean. You go in an airplane. You speak in Arabic. The guy next to you, he will move right away. He will ask the, eh, please, uh, do you have an empty chair? Right away. And this is how I always enjoy the flight alone. Arab, do you know what Arab mean? Don't you see? Don't you watch news? Jordan is beautiful. That's not... I'm not talking about Jordan. I'm talking about Jordan as a country. It's a very bad country to visit. Very bad. And the king of Jordan is very evil person. S speak one word against the king. You and your family will disappear. He is a potato in the front of the Israeli. He is a potato in the front of the of the American, and he is a he is a king in the front of the Jordanian. <clears throat> What's the difference between Sunni and Shia? Hmm, I don't know how to explain that to you, but let us say, uh, you uh, uh, you bought some. Uh, But somewhat. How I explain to him different between Shia and Sunni. Okay. There is a book, and the book have two covers, and this book is called Quran. Shia they open the book from the left. Sunni they open it from the right. That's all. Just to make it simple for you, which means it's a, it's the same book, two side of the cover. It's the same garbage. Both of them, they believe death to America, death to Israel, death to the Kuffar, death to the Hindus. It's the same. Don't waste your time. I think CP is from Jordan. We think as you wish. I'm a black blonde African, a black blonde African American from Japan, as I remember. And by the way, the Shia, they have, a, they, they have a. Uh, they are way more brainwashed than the Sunni. You see, if you go on them, you, you just go right now and see see how they go crazy, like the way they beat themselves. And you know, I mean, this is a very very bad cult. And they are more dangerous, actually. Are you Palestinian? There is no, there's nothing Palestinian. There's no even single person is called Palestinian exists in this world. Those who live today in what is called. Palestine, they are not Palestinian, those are Aramaic. And the Muslims are Arab. What Palestinian? 
what what Petra have to do with Jordan Jordan this is a new country created by the British intelligence have you okay what is the name of the king of Jordan in the time of the Messiah <laughs> you know what I mean the British intelligence is the one who made this map you see this map in front of you this is the this is the this is the work of Her Majesty Intelligence James Bonds uh, 700. I'm not joking. All those countries you see in the front of you is the design of the British Intelligent and the French. They are not real. They don't exist. Look what happened. The Ottoman Empire. Just for those who don't have too much knowledge about history. Ottoman Empire let us zoom here we have to zoom more okay so the Ottoman Empire was very huge you know if you like uh, uh, Erdogan he said uh, I am the same as Barbaros I don't know if any of you heard of this guy this guy he attacked Greece he attacked Spain he attacked Italy and he defeated many many of those countries and they took big part so in his time they control part of Europe and Africa and even Saudi Arabia belonged to them and Egypt and all the way uh, you know Uzbekistan etc it was a huge empire terrorist empire and this is why Erdogan he is he want to be like Barbaros Uh, so when when the like when the war over and Turkey became so weak, or let us say the empire became just a name, so the British and the French they decide to uh, and the Italian etc to divide the cake. So they created the country. It's called Libya, and that is given to the Italian. Egypt was given to the English. Saudi Arabia and all the Gulf actually was under the control of the British. Iraq, Syria for the French, same as Lebanon. And Israel was under the control still by name of the Ottoman Empire. And then they made the, the, the Ottoman Empire agree, because he had no authority anyway, to give it to the Jew or to allow the Jews to immigrate. And Algeria was given to France. So those countries are designed to be um, colony. They are not real. They don't exist. They're not, there's no country that's called Saudi Arabia. Never exist. Most of those countries are newly exist. Syria is an old country, yes, ancient country, as a country. But there's nothing. It's called Jordan. There's a, there's a land it's called Jordan, but not a country it's called Jordan. There never was a king of a land called Jordan or even Palestine. Right? CP is a from extinct tri Arab tribe from Bajoa, New Ghana. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. This is why, like, you know, if you see, you see the, the, the European, they are the one who made those countries big because they want to control because supposedly they will own them forever. So look how big Algeria is. They took almost, look, they give them a big land in the desert because supposedly the French, they thought they are going to occupy Algeria forever. You know, you see this Algeria here, how big it is? Same as Italy. Look. So they made them so huge because they thought they would they would control them, but in fact they were establishing an Islamic state, same as Libya. Look how huge it is. Same as Egypt. Actually, yeah, I'm an Irish. I like Irish cheese. Can you adopt me? My friends, I don't know. I don't know if you think I'm very old to adopt you. Find if I find somebody to adopt you, not me. 
why all Persian what why all Persian Iranians but not all Iranians Persian Dushi, I hate Persian mythology you see no the 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 biggest ethnic group in Iran is Persian but for sure there is other ethnic because remember Iran was not just that country as it is now it was way bigger than this Iran was one day like uh, there was two big empire the Persian and the Roman so Iran is not just Iran it used to be like Azerbaijan Turkmen, you know, Afghanistan all those they belong to the territory of Iran can you explain Sufism for me well maybe we can make a video about it but Sufism is not really Islam it's just uh, you see because Islam is not a spiritual religion so those who they are forced to Islam they found themselves empty so they start they created Sufism to add something spiritual to the cult of Islam. Otherwise, Sufism is not Muslims. Music and the dance and etc., which is against Islam totally. Palestine, Palestine is the name of a group of people. No, Palestine is the name of a territory. And whoever live in that territory, they call him Palestinian. And uh, if you go and see like uh, when 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 the the Assyrian they occupy Israel they wanted uh, the Jews they went in revolution against them so they wanted to establish like let us say to do some demographic change so they moved some Persian and some other ethnic groups to that territory which is called Palestine so they can stop the revolution is Pakistan is a threat in, to India? Is Hindu religion as bad as Islam? I cannot say. You see, for me, uh, Hinduism is not a true belief. However, I believe the biggest threat for mankind is the cult of Islam because it's, it promotes terrorism. When the last time you heard uh, a Hindu guru saying, go and uh, explode yourself so you can get versions? They don't do that. Right, you might find some extreme uh, Hindu they discriminate Christians, but they don't promote uh, what Islam promotes. Me myself, I met many Hindus. They are very kind people, very nice people, you know. Uh, but for sure, everywhere, everywhere there is bad and good. And for me, Hinduism is not really a belief to accept. Pakistan threat to India? I don't think so. If a real war happens, especially Pakistani, you know, Indian today, they are really leading the technology in the world. You see, number one country import skilled people to the world is India. It's not Pakistan. Pakistan imports drugs. So we have a we have different in the quality of the population. So while Indian, they have the most smart computer engineers. You know what I mean? The Pakistani, they have the most people who they sell drugs around the world. Like when, when a Pakistani person arrives to Saudi Arabia, not only they take off his clothes, they examine everything he have. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, <clears throat> is it true that cannibalism was allowed in Islam? Actually, yeah. Uh, there's a book right now they are teaching at Israel University. There's a video about it in YouTube, in Arabic. They are teaching that if somebody he leave Islam, you can eat him raw. If somebody is a Christian or a Jew, you can eat him barbecue. If you don't believe me, search for the video in Miramar and they are, they, they, you will see the translation. Was a Turkey an Asian nation? Absolutely, yeah. Asia, they are Asian, but after they occupy uh, the Christian land, 
uh, 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 Byzanta and then they rape all the Christian women and they are uh, European now you know if you go there you will find blonde people those are the children of the rape Christian women okay Paul How can Islam always stupid? Eh. Stupidity is one of the, let us say, with, you know, human being come with stupidity. A Palestine in the Bible is a territory, is not people. Whoever live in that territory, they call them Palestinian. And they are not the people who they are there today. <clears throat> Why does America always attack Muslim major majority countries? Why does it attack other countries? No, this is not true actually. America is number one protector to the Muslim countries. All Muslim countries right now are exist because of America. If America withdraw their army, all those Muslims they will eat each other. Okay, let us imagine this. If America did not go and ISIS is still there, what would be happening right now? Eating each other literally for centuries to come. The only the only one is stopping them is the American from eating each other. No, Islam will not. You see, Turkey, you see, Turkey is not really, uh, they claim to be Islamic country. This Erdogan is a fake person. He is not really a Muslim. He is a Sufi. Secondly, uh, uh, Erdogan, he is not seeking Islam. He is seeking Ottoman. Those people, they are Ottoman. They don't believe in anything. They don't even respect the Arab. They don't like the Arab. So for them, it just Islam is, is is a way. This is why their king, actually, Jankiz Khan, you know, how they became Muslims to use Islam. They came to the Middle East actually to kill the Muslims. They did not. They did not come to the Middle East to become a Muslims. But when they notice if we became a Muslim, the, if the king became a Muslim, all those people they would obey. Okay, I'm a Muslim. <laughs> Old man. They never, never have God and they never have religion. Never. And nothing changed. You see, Erdogan, he speak about Islam day and night. Turkey, number one tourism is sex. Sex. What is the guy? This guy, he is a Muslim leader and he have a Muslim party ruling the country for the last, uh, what, 12 years? Have you ever heard of a bar is closed? Prostitution bar. I'm not talking about a bar to drink. Not a single one. Did Erdogan forbid the drinking? Not a single one. So where is Islam in the country? So we have an Islamic regime, but Islam is not exist in the country. How is that can be? You know what I mean? So Erdogan, he used the Islam. It's just to, you know, to... Like now, he you know he went, uh, uh, they joined the Muslim Brotherhood, because this is the way for him to be a caliphate again. They can extend their power as Ottoman over the Arab again. And the Arab don't like them. Nobody like them. Arab and Turkish don't like each other. This is the truth. And they will never be friends. You know, just let's go back to history. This is Mecca. The British intelligent, they brought a guy, his name, Hussein. Hussein. You can write it as you wish. This guy he claimed to be from the family of Muhammad. They armed him and they gave him money. And then he did lead an Arabian revolution 
against the Turkish by the help of the British intelligence, Her Majesty the Queen, James Boyd. How many of you heard of someone called Lawrence the Arabian? Lawrence the Arabian, have you, any, have you heard of them? Lawrence the Arabian is a real person. His job is, he's from the British intelligence, is to teach those Bedouin who, do, who take a shower once a year how to attack, how to shoot, how to make a, how to make a, like a, a a bomb in the way of the Turkish. So this is how they defeat the Turkish. They made the Arab became revolution and they fought the Turkish because the Arab they and, and the Turkish they hate each other. And then they brought Hussein. And right now King Hussein in Jordan, he is one of the grandson, and they divide the king. They they, they give him kingdom. So. Sharif Hussain, they call him the Honorable Hussain because suppose he's from uh, the family of Muhammad, coming from Mecca, he gave his children, by the help of the British intelligence, three kingdoms, Syria, and Jordan, and Iraq. And then, Two of his kids get killed and they get rid of them. And until now we have the one which is the king of Jordan because he's protected by, uh, by Israel. No, Lawrence, he was against the Turk, not with the Turk. Uh, <clears throat> death of America my friend those who dream of the death of America obviously they never saw what America is America is the last country to die there's two countries in the world they are the more powerful and they are self-sustained which is USA and Russia which means this country USA can lock its door and will not need to buy anything from the world same as Russia they have everything they have oil they have food they have land they have they don't need anyone so they keep dreaming about the death of America how come Muslim claim that Muhammad is an Arab man from Ishmael well this is just to give him a title or let us say to make him legitimate to be a prophet <clears throat> hello again listening while waiting for my meal what is your meal are you in a restaurant US need China actually it's the opposite you see look what Trump he did Trump he proved that China cannot survive without USA and now China is signing this week this coming week as a Trump he went he, he made the China bow down to USA China live actually by the money coming from USA. Number one source of money is USA. It's not the opposite. So look, Trump he moved sanctions, stop buying things from China with taxes, etc., tariff, and because they don't need them. I mean, who they don't need China? That's a, that's a big fat uh, lie to say USA need China. It's the opposite. Economy of China collapsed because of the sanctions of Trump. Not the opposite. China cannot make sanctions in USA. You see, to know to know how powerful a country is, ask yourself who is putting sanctions and who. Then you will know the answer. Is that correct, guys? Because how I can put sanctions on you unless I'm so powerful and you are nothing? Everything in USA made in China. Uh, maybe this is true, but everything is for consumers. But USA is still leading the product which is nobody can make and nobody can even afford or sell you see usa don't make money from selling shoes usa make monies from very high tech technology weapon um, uh, technology about medicine still they have the best medicine in, in the world 
uh, they have the, the, the best labs in the world they, so USA the power of USA is not about making shoes and bags China cannot make what USA can make and they will never be able to do so and now Trump by the way he made them sign an agreement that they have to preserve the copyright of USA product which means they cannot clone iPhone no more so what you see in China is everything is a theft I went to China I never saw a window is owned by the owner of the computer it all of it is a theft not a single computer in China is legal it's a theft and that is telling you how weak China is right <clears throat> my friend most of the Chinese technology is a theft they don't have technology it's a theft everything they have is a theft they get away for for all those years because nobody stand for them anything you make in USA you have it in China anything and the reason this has happened because of stupid American because China is cheap so like Apple you know my computer broken I took it to fix the the board we open it the battery is made in China the keyboard is made in China I mean there's no teams made in USA as you said right okay so why they are doing that is that because they cannot make it in USA no but because in China is cheap so by doing that they gave technology to China but the Chinese supposedly they are not allowed to make the same and sell but they do it so it was America who transferred technology by stupid behavior but anyway the China still is a very you know, I mean it's a uh, they have a lot of great stuff they accomplish but there's, but there's one thing they could not accomplish in China ethic is extremely bad and that because not of the Chinese because of the communist you see in communist country everybody learned how to be selfish if somebody fell down the street nobody would become up communist and communism will never be successful it doesn't matter how much they accomplish and if you cannot build a man or a human who have ethic you did not build an empire you build a farm communism never promote any good ethic and this is why they do all the kind of theft copy purses you know a purse is for five hundred dollars in USA you can get from China for ten dollars or maybe five there's no human right there is no ethic that you know this is I mean, how big how how powerful an empire can be if a citizen he have no rights that's mean the empire does not exist this is the reason for all empire to collapse by the way when the king became unjust and his his people became tortured and the oppressed then the empire will collapse the same as what happened in Soviet Union how much Soviet Union how many millions could get killed because of the communist at the end they collapse so I believe that the communist in, in 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 China they will lose and they will collapse and then a new Christian country will be born it's called China the Christian just wait Christianity is the fastest believe is spreading in China like a fire in an old wood I could not believe it go right now actually search church in China you will not believe it how, how big and how, how 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 big the population and how fast the number is growing so maybe maybe 23 years 30 years from now China will be a Christian country the same as what happened in South Korea South Korea used to be a Buddhist now more than 95% are Christians 
Japan is the same, but in Korea, actually in, in China is, is uh, happening so fast. You see, oppression and just make people accept Christ faster. What China is doing to Muslims is not okay. You see, my friend, you know, the, uh, the world is full of hypocrisy. China is doing to Christian worse than what they do to Muslims, but nobody talk about it. And when Trump, he speak about the Muslims because he is using that as a political, uh, you know, like, uh, to say, pressure. But he don't care. All this is about the Chinese. What about the Christians? Why nobody speak about the Christians? It's okay to to torture Christians or to jail Christians? Why, why you mention only the Muslims? Go right now and see how many mosques the Chinese government they destroy, not even one. You will find hundreds of churches being destroyed by the Chinese. But now we talk about it. It just, uh, Trump, he want to show himself in the front of the Muslims that he defend the Muslims, same as European leaders. It's just propaganda. But the, the Yogur are number one producer of terrorists in the world. You see, go right now and search Yogur Syria. They are the most aggressive criminal terrorist group in Syria, the Yogur. Search right now. Don't you know? Don't believe me. Just search in Google right now. So, how many attack happened by by the Yogur in China? How many of you went to the Forbidden City? Anyone been in the Forbidden City? Anyone went went there? When you go to the Forbidden City, they have a long line of those like what they call them columns of concrete. Why? Because the Yogur terrorist. They go over the street and they start riding over people. The same as they do in Germany in Christmas market. It's the same garbage everywhere. So they say to you they are tough on the Muslims, but what Muslims? If you do nothing, nobody arrests you. They are not arresting them because they are Muslims. That's not true. I hope that the Persian they will accept Christ soon and we will be free from this regime and trust me I'm not against the Persian people I, I know many Persian they are wonderful people but this regime must go and I hope I hope something will happen and this regime will collapse so people in Iran they can live you see Iran used to be uh, like Paris I mean during the king time the, the Iranian they made a big mistake they thought they get rid of the king but look what happened they brought an Islamic state. Big mistake. You know, the, the war in Yemen have nothing to do with America. The war in Yemen, the Shia, who is sponsored by Iran, they told them, why you will, why you allow them to uh, assume it to be a president? You are Shia and you are the majority. Take over. And that's the whole story. What Iran, what USA have to do with this? Saudi, because Yemen is a very important neighbor and that will be a threat because now Saudi are surrounded by the Iranian from two sides. So now what they have, this is why the Saudi they involved in this war and you, you don't blame them, I don't blame them. This is Iran here, okay? So now they can invade Saudi Arabia from this direction and they can invade Saudi Arabia from this direction. And now Iraq is under the control of Iran too, so they can invade from this direction. I mean, look at the, look at this. Almost they are all over. So the Saudi they are very worried about what's happening, what's coming next. Do you think if a China attack Indonesia? No, I don't think so. You see, USA cannot be involved in a war with a country like China. To defend any country they can involve in a war with China only if a Chinese attack USA nobody will defend you you should defend yourself don't depend on others to defend you that is a big mistake we have four guests from Iran at home right now they were celebrating the news of death. So yeah, I'm sure Iraqi they were dancing in the street. I'm sure Iran are happy too. You see, mistakenly people think that Iran mean 
all Iranian are those. No. The Iranian, they hate this regime, the majority of them. Just two months ago, go watch the videos and see what happened. They killed a lot of people in the street because they go against them. So, you see, we don't, we want to, like, don't be a person who judge the whole thing by, by what, what you see. Uh, and especially Iranian, actually. Iranian, they have a good quality people, by the way. You know, I met many people of them. You know, Iran have a great civilization. This is Iran. This is, go and read the history of Persia. This is not just, a, a, you know, a Bedouin guy who live in the desert. Iran demolished by Islam. Otherwise, Iran should be right now one of the most biggest countries, not by size only, but by, by civilization. I mean, this is Persia. This is Persia. Go and read about Persia. This is not just a country you came from the middle of nowhere. They have a long history of, you know, so, uh, uh, but wherever Islam goes, conquer, destroy. From one of the most powerful nations by everything to what Iran is today. Hate, discrimination, killing. I mean, what their business? Why they can't live like everybody? Why they want to do all of this? Why Iran want to have a party of Hezbollah in Lebanon? What's your business with Lebanon? Because this is what Islam do. Islam like an octopus. And this octopus cannot keep his legs inside him. He have to extend them. All right. Now, guys, the video, the, the previous video I made before this one, about the confused Muslim. How many of you downloaded? How many of you downloaded the video? Anyone? <clears throat> Let us see. I will search in the search engine to see how many of you download the video because I'm going to take it out. I don't keep those kids' uh, videos. There's only 1,800. You see, because I'm here, you know, uh, always I notice that the last video, people see it, that the one before it, nobody watch it. You know what I mean? That's why sometimes you have to delete them. Okay, let's see. The confused Muslim, I will search in the search engine to see how many downloaded the video today ah oh, here we go there's some people download that's good there's two three four five six seven eight nine uh, ten ten people only okay no problem. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm really, uh, I had a long day today and uh, I can't stay longer. I'm not going to keep this video because it's just about politics and dirty stuff like politics. Nothing more dirty than politics. And always, uh, You have not received enough video to maintain smooth. You see, because I have a slow internet, supposedly. Uh, this is what it says. YouTube saying I have a slow internet. Let me see. Let me see what is the speed now. YouTube is giving me a message that my internet is horrible. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I want to say really thank you for being here. I hope we had a good time. And uh, again, I repeat, the Iranian, they will never dare to hit, to hit America. If they do something, it's going to be, uh, I don't think they are that, I mean, I'm talking about the regime. I don't think they are stupid to do such a mistake because I think Trump is waiting for them to do something so he can really beat them, beat them up. See, Trump now, he's playing that I don't want war. But I think Trump, he is saying to himself, let them do something. 
I'm very sure that Trump, when he hit this Soleimani, not only he knew what he is doing, he is waiting for reaction, stupid reaction, to use it as an excuse. So, and the Iranian, they knew their weakness. I mean, they knew their size. So all the speeches you see in TV from the Iranian regime about death to America, wait for revenge, this is just for marketing business, for the local business. You know, people, they are, those who support this regime, they will say, okay, why you don't do something now? So they have to say to them, we will do, just wait. We will kill a lot of Americans. But are they really going to do it? They will never dare to do so. They will hit only the friends of America, like the, the the short one, let us say. They will hit maybe Saudi Arabia. They hit the oil in Saudi Arabia. They will hit maybe some uh, 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 ship uh, uh, going through the Gulf of, uh, of Persia, you know, like here. You know, they will they, they will hit a ship or two maybe for Saudi or different country, or they will launch an attack on Saudi Arabia by missiles. They are covered. They don't dare to attack USA. Count my words and let us see. They will never do that because if they do that i mean that would be the most stupid decision ever to do and me myself i hope they would do something trust me because it is time for this regime to go and if they did not do something this regime will stay for a while okay so i want to say thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you all and i hope i will see you tomorrow if i can come you know i will be happy to do so uh, I pray that all of you will have a great weekend. Today is a Friday uh, evening for me. Uh, uh, you know, Saturday is a wonderful day. Uh, I love uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, because simply they are uh, somehow they are special. You know, they are they are special for in our. I don't want to say our routine, but our life. It is it is time where you have things for your own, uh, things with your family, maybe uh, things you like to do. Uh, it's it's a time, you know. You see, when the Lord He says Sabbath, the Sabbath was for a reason, and nobody can go out of the law, which or the law is created by the Lord. All the or the whole world, they have to take a day off. It's a, it is a necessity. If you don't do that, you will be exhausted. So this is why the Messiah, he said, the Sabbath was created for the man, not the man was created for the Sabbath. Which mean, the wisdom of the Lord proving itself always to be true. That day is not made for God. Actually, it's made for you. It's you who need it. So try your best to use it in the best way with your family, sit with your kids. Uh, if you are a person who have children, play with them, you know. Don't sit in your couch like a potato and play with them. You know, make a donkey for them. Have fun. I mean, it's, it's be, be a father and let your children love you. Get close to them. Don't sit in the couch and dad, don't do that and don't do this, you know. Like this kind of uh, classic daddy stuff. Don't do that. Be a kid like them. Sit with them. Play with them. They will love you. And if you have a family, if you are married, try always to be the nice person as much as you can. Because trust me, you are being nice and the nice will be back to you. Which means if you treat the person you married nicely, that person is going to be nicer to you. So you might think you are doing it to her or to him. The fact is going to come back to you. So Saturday is an amazing opportunity to fix our problems, maybe with family, or to relax with our family, to get closer to them, and to to clear things out from you know filter things, so we can be uh, we can be living happily with our 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 people, whatever your people are. I don't know. Each one of us have different background, different situation. Some of you are single. Some of you are married. Uh, some of you maybe divorced it doesn't matter really try to enjoy your time and time never repeat itself and saturday especially never come back the new saturday is going to be a different one 
so don't waste the coming one which is today or tomorrow because this Saturday will never come back enjoy it thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam and any other cult are false take care bye bye